Sarah, what does fortune have in store for us? I see a journey from west to east. Coming up on brand new Blue Peter, we speak to Helen as she battles through the extreme conditions of Antarctica. We reveal the Hollywood secrets behind director Steven Spielberg's new blockbuster epic, War Horse. Jumping over and falling into the trench, I never would do that to a real horse. started yet. Look, you know that cab outside? Yes. Well, that's Max's pride and joy. And if you get so much as a scratch on it, you're going to have to pay for it. Oh. And I don't want that at the moment. I've got enough on my plate. Oh. Uh... Hey, look at that over there. best one and there is absolutely no way that I'm ever ever gonna lend it to you now back off please Tracy oh! I'm sorry Tracy's not available at the moment please try again later he's got to go that's a bit harsh he's defiant irresponsible he's just a kid that's the problem he's one of the kids he can't help being a kid he's supposed to be a care worker I thought you were talking about crash Keep up, Duke. Uh, move that bum, Tracy. Oh, that's it! Where you going? Somewhere I'm not going to be sat on, squashed up and cried out by you lot. You can't go now, Tracy. This is just like being back at home. Is that clean? My car's got... Oh, yeah! He's got a 9.7 and a pounding headache. But the crowd, with a perfect 9.9, .9, the boys concede. It's the winning bogey from the crowd. And perfectly placing a 2.4 on that Japanese gentleman's head. 
has McCord got? Bogies! He's got a 5.5. That's a marvellous bogey. And what's with the stupid outfit? Well, you see, Miss Molly, he's just been to keep fat class. Keep fit, you mean? No! Keep fat! You lie on a sofa, stuff your face with chocolates and watch the telly! <laughs> there won't be a law against me, you know. For these three warriors, the knowledge of what lies beyond these gates fills them with trepidation. For they know only too well that one of them will not survive beyond it. For this is the way of the warrior. It's not fair The mum and dad nag nag Straight up straight don't be rude It's so not fair It's the killer boy rat Stole school stinks kids rule they send you to your room Say a little too You sing na 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 And how's the grand sulk going? I've decided I'm going to go live with Mum. Ingrid, your mother's dead. You're dead. We're all dead. Here they come, they're on a roll. Well, they'll strike, nobody knows. If you have a point to prove, they'll make a plan and see it through. They'll sign you up to join their crew. Party and the ninjas do. Do where is it? I've got to find it quick. Oh. Nev, Nev, look at me. Look. Now remember what? What did we talk about? About eating food slowly. Bunny, bunny, hungry. Look, I know, I know you are, but if you eat too fast, you're gonna get a tummy ache. Feel icky. Well, exactly. So eat your food slowly. Okay? Yeah. Red alert. Red alert. Report. Spacecraft approaching the solar system. Let it on the screen. Scanning. No visual contact. Suggest intruders are using shields. Bring up their data traces quick. Fleet moving into attack. The windows are reinforced. We could use those speakers to create an electromagnetic pulse. Then harness it using my mobile phone battery. Creating a reversible radio wave, which if amplified through the MP3s, would manifest a frequency which would shatter, shatter the, the windows. windows. Or we could do this. Or we could do that. This is not a fairy tale. Or is it? <laughs> For hundreds of years, only the most unfortunate are summoned to the tower, ready to take on the voice and her dark magical forces. There are kicks and challenges on every floor, and someone not to be trusted. Only one will escape with the key of freedom, and the rest... You're trapped! Welcome to Hotel Trouble. Meet Sally, our receptionist. People trying to have a conversation here. And this is Lenny. He's a man of many talents. This is Dolly. She's Mr. Trouble's <clears throat> fiance. And this is Mrs. Poshington, the new cleaner. Which just leaves me, Jamie, and the bellboy. <laughs>
I wouldn't be at all surprised if we didn't see any change from around about a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds? Yes, I should think around about a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds. Please, ladies, look, this phone retails at fifty-five pounds. Thousand pounds! A thousand pounds? It's absurd. I shan't pay it. It's much too much money, a thousand pounds. Yes. I, I shall write to my daughter instead. Come, Jasmine, let us go and buy those diamond-encrusted tweezers we saw in the chemists. Quite right, Brutus. As far as I'm concerned, you can put your little phone in your ear. Hmm. My name's Steve Backshaw. You can call me Steve. Whoa! I'm on a mission to find the deadly 60. Ow! That's 60 deadly creatures from around the world. And you're coming with me every step of the way. story of Roy O'Brien. He lives in an ordinary house on an ordinary street. The only trouble is he doesn't look very ordinary. All Roy really wants is to fit in, but it's very hard to stay out of trouble when you're a cartoon. Roy! £75 cash and a tough trading challenge. They must decide what to buy. Which trick draws the biggest crowd? This one. <laughs> Negotiate the lowest price. What would you say at 20 p I'd say absolutely no. And then sell, sell, sell. 